never ever young a guy to life after 50 we want you want you to meet the man who's credited as one of the fathers of popular music our national correspondent Jamie Gangel caught up with renowned musician Les Paul hi Jamie good to see you hey Katie Les Paul has made his name as a performer and inventor and thanks to that guitar that bears his signature he's a household name so you would think that now that he is turning 90 Les Paul might consider slowing down a bit quite the opposite. In the music world, Les Paul is an icon, a genius. But ask the man himself, and he'll modestly tell you he spent his life just chasing sound. And if it's Monday night, this is where you'll find him, playing to a packed house at New York's Iridium Jazz Club to fans of all ages. I saw you in the audience. I did. You did really good. Did I do okay? It was very good. What's the best part of performing now? I think it's uh, the friends I make, the enjoyment of hearing People laugh, the applause. There's ego involved. There, you you want to you want to perform. You want them to like you, and and you work at it. After all of this time, yeah. performing with all of the accolades, with all of the fame, you still worry. Oh yeah. About it. You want to be. Want to be loved. And no question, he is. The secret to his success, Les Paul says, is hard work and constantly being challenged. I work with young musicians. They're all much younger than I am. And you like that because? I love that because they make me work. I put them right aside of me and I say, I oh, beat me up. Go, go for it. Beat go me for up. it. Go for it. <laughs> that kid keeps me going. That determination has been key. What many don't know is that Les Paul has had serious health problems throughout his life. In fact, it's a miracle he's still alive, let alone bringing down the house. Howdy! <laughs> a car crash left you in the hospital for two years. Your arm so smashed that they that had to a, set it yeah, they like set this. It right you told there. them to set it like you're playing mm -hmm. the guitar. Just right here. Mm -hmm. Both your eardrums Both were ears. broken. Broken. You've had a stroke. It's a miracle. The These arthritis. weren't just, oh, arthritis. You have, uh, no how many fingers do you play with now? None. None. I can use the fingers this way, but I can't bend them. They won't bend. And you know what? All you gotta do is play one note. If it's the right note, you're home. Clearly, music was his destiny. Growing up in Wisconsin, by eight he was playing the harmonica, by 12 the guitar, and by 17 he had dropped out of high school and was making a living as a professional musician. First, he had his own trio. Then he became a household name with his wife and partner, Mary Ford. They were so popular, their daily TV show was on every major network. Les Paul found himself a guitar legend. I'd give my soul. <laughs> If I could play like him, give my whole soul, everything to the people. Oh, God. I'm lacking bass here. At the same time, he was always tinkering. Obsessed by sound, it earned him a nickname. By now, they call me Hum His Paul. Because? Because I want no hum. I don't want no hiss. I want perfection. We all do. We all do. But we don't make a big thing out of it. But I did. Along the way, he's credited with dozens of inventions that revolutionized music. What would Jimi Hendrix have sounded like without reverb? <laughs> What would the Beatles have done without multi-tracking? 
And then, of course, Les Paul is responsible for this. His signature solid body guitar made by Gibson, which quickly became every teenager's dream and every parent's nightmare. Many of the people who come to hear you either had a Les Paul, one of these, yeah. or wanted one, <laughs> yeah. or they had a teenager who played it way too loud. Yeah, that's the parents. The that's parents the parents. That Les Paul guitar has got to go. <laughs> <laughs> and I read that you always apologize uh, to them. I apologize to the parents, but not to the kid that's playing the guitar. I, I'm so happy that he sees what I saw in the guitar. And so did many professionals. Les Paul's fans are a veritable who's who of rock and roll. My sound has developed and my style developed because of playing Les Paul. It's the guitar that has the muscle for me. Les' sound, it's just unmistakable. You hear it once and you can always rec recognize Les Paul after that. And that, of course, is a mark of a real genius. But while Les Paul is proud of all of his accomplishments, his first love is still performing. And in the end, he hopes his legacy is simple, that people remember him as just a plain old guitar player. That's good enough for me. Yeah, I just do the best I can. I, that I do. He's a living legend, Katie, and remarkably, he's not stopped inventing in the works are a Les Paul piano, a new digital Les Paul Gibson guitar, and perhaps no surprise for an audiophile, he is working on perfecting the hearing aid. He uses two of them, and he wants to make sure everyone can hear the sounds he loves even better. Katie? He seems like such a terrific guy, Jamie. He is charming, absolutely charming and wonderful. Hard to believe he's turning 90. That is, I know, I'll say. Anyway, Jamie, thanks so much for that profile. Sure. It was great. Still ahead.